My name is uh, Nicholas Nicole. I'm from Trube in Switzerland. Um, very short introduction about Trube in Switzerland. This is an independent Swiss company based in Aarau. It's in the canton of uh, Aargau, about half an hour from uh, Zurich. And the main pitch for Zurich and the Troop company in the international world of EMV is actually the independent operating systems that we have both for uh, native products and for Java card products. And currently we are present in the Russian and CIS region with our partners at Rosan. So what we will we cover today? Today we'll have a look at the new Visa and MasterCard specifications and how they work with flash technology in EMV cards. The most important thing for the issuers, I would say, are what are the new features for the banks themselves in the new specifications? How do new payment specifications influence your choice of technology? And how can we all benefit from these choices of technology with the new specifications? And then how does all this affect the transaction speed in contactless transactions? Because that is where the direction of all this uh, new information is going. Let's just remind ourselves of the rate of adoption of EMV in the world. At the moment, there is a total average adoption rate of close to 90% in the world. So this is between 85 and 90% according to current statistics. And this rate of adoption is growing in POS terminals, in ATMs, and of course in, and of course in card issuance. In terms of our view of the worldwide industry, there are two main sectors that we can focus on. There are the DDA products and the dual interface products. And if we look at the two different segments within uh, DDA and native, uh, what we see here are the native market here is the larger bubble which shows that the most issued cards are usually on native products in DDA. But there is a growing segment here of global and open platform products. The significance here is the size in memory. So you have a high memory size here and a lower memory size here. The same kind of principle applies for dual interface products where we have a larger portion of issued cards which are based on native products compared to global platform products. I must say though that I do feel that in some parts of the world this is changing now and I think the balance is going towards a change. So I think global platform and open standards will take a larger portion of the market as we proceed.